ML4025 TDR is a cost-effective solution for production testing of direct attached copper cables. In this video I'll be showing you how to measure the impedance profile, the insertion loss and the return loss of a direct attached cable using the ML4025 TDR. This is the setup for TDR and insertion loss measurements. Channel 1 is connected to TX1 on the first MCB and RX1 on the second MCB is terminated with a 50 ohm load. Salt calibration is performed for TDR measurement using the provided open, short and load QSFP calibration modules. Reference measurements are taken for each of the three modules successively as instructed on the ML4025 TDR software. After calibration, the loopback modules are removed and replaced by a DAC. To measure a DAC's return loss, we evaluate the impedance profile of three different setups. The first one is the same as the one used for TDR measurements. For the second one, we remove the DAC from the second MCB. And for the last one, we remove the DAC from the first MCB. We can then add markers and apply gating to isolate the DAC. Then we can reconnect the cable to measure its return loss. Calibration for insertion loss measurements is performed by connecting together channels 1 and 2 of the ML4025 TDR. The setup differs from that of TDR measurements by having channel 2 connected to RX1 of the second MCB instead of 50 ohm termination. The measurements obtained on the ML4025 TDR can be compared to ones obtained on a VNA by loading S4P files on the software. The ML4025 TDR can also be used to measure NAXT, FAXT and ICN. And the number of used ports can be scaled up by using multiple units in the same chassis, providing a high production throughput. <laughs> 